Welcome back to Unnati Unleashed. We are excited to continue our journey through episode 2, Empowering Women Through Skill. I'm your host and guide, Sagarika Sharma, and I'm absolutely delighted and honored to welcome Mr. Ramesh Swami, the esteemed director of Unnati Skill Center. Sir, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence, sir. Thank you. And with your respect and permission, I would like to have your insight on few questions that we are about to dive into, sir. Please go ahead. <laughs> So, uh, so could you please tell us about the journey that led you to establish Unnati Skill Center and the vision that you had in your mind? So it happened somewhere around 2002, right? When we were funding a lot of children in education. We used to fund the maid servant, the driver's uh, son, daughter. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, if you see the education part, those days, somewhere around 8th standard, there was an examination. And again, there was an examination in 10th standard. Many of these children will fail and then they will drop out of school. So what we thought was, what happened? We had given 10 years money yeah. and they drop out, they go back to the slum. Nothing has changed, right? Mm -hmm. How do we do something which is very, very powerful and impactful? That is when the thought of Unnati came. So three principles. One, if we train somebody, we must give them a job, yeah. right? Second was we have very clear inclusive growth is an extremely important element. And inclusive growth is not about poverty or poor, you know. It is about the way you are able to behave in the society. So what is lacking? They lack communication, they are afraid, they they their behavior, they, those if you tighten it, they can be a global citizen. So that was the second aspect of it. Third, they must be a change agent from the community. When they go back to the community, they should be looked up upon. Oh, this person was not like this 30 days back. He is, if he can change, I can change. So the whole society, there's a change which comes about. So these were the three principles on which Unnati started. We thought in those days, if we do some 50, 60 people in, it's a very big thing, yes, right? Sir, yeah. To help 50, 60 people in a year is a very big thing. So we started off that way. But uh, the power of the program was so great. You know, Indeed, we, we could see yes, sir, the obviously. whole. So we, we kept on going and then we kept on expanding. Uh, you know, the first five years we just did around 320. Mm -hmm. The next we brought up this building. Yeah. Then it became 600, 700 in a year. Then we started with other NGOs couple of centers then access bank came we, they gave us a lot of money we opened up 30 odd centers today we are in 35 odd centers then we brought in unext yeah. which is a game changer unext is a phenomenal game changer yes, for the poor youth especially in the rural areas mm -hmm. many people go to college and get graduation but they are not employable yeah. right so, you know, there's a very famous uh, statement made by uh, Narayan Murthy, sir, of Infosys. He said that 90% uh, of the engineers who are coming out are unemployed. Yeah. So we are able to bridge that gap beautifully at a cost which is nothing. We are doing it today at just around 1,600 rupees per youth for yeah. over nearly 200 hours of training. Yeah. Nobody in this country can deliver that no, kind of yeah. quality. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping and we are looking at... So we had a dream in 2011 when we formed this Section 8 company called SGBS Unnati Foundation. Unnati Foundation domain was not available, so it was SGBS Unnati Foundation. And we said we'll do a million youth. Mm -hmm. right? Somebody had asked me at that time, will you do a million? I would have said, it's okay, it's a journey. journey yeah. Uh, we may not do, I may not do in my lifetime, somebody else will come and do it. But today, uh, I feel that I might see that figure in my lifetime. Right? So, we, we just are touching a lack of youth this financial, April 2023 to March 2024. We are looking at one lakh youth in this financial year and totally cumulatively 1.8 lakhs. Mm. 
I, I feel that a million is not too far. No, sorry. <laughs> so it indeed is a great initiative and Unnati has been helping a lot of underprivileged so it's very nice yeah. to see that sir. And uh, sir, uh, so in your opinion what role does Sugam play in empowering women and their socio-economic status in society? So today, if you see, everybody is talking of entrepreneurship. Yeah. Uh, the Prime Minister, mm -hmm. everybody. Yesterday I was in a meeting, MSMEs. MSMEs contribute huge percentage to the GDP. Micro-entrepreneur women can do wonders. Yeah. I have seen uh, in villages that they form cooperatives, they, they work amongst themselves. Yeah. The scope is so huge, mm -hmm. right? And if they succeed, the village succeeds. Yeah. If the village succeeds, the entire nation, nation succeeds, yeah. right? So we are very, very uh, gung-ho about the fact that we are able to make a huge difference in the lives of these micro-entrepreneurs. Yeah. They lack a lot of skills, but you know, small, small things if we teach them correctly and they start practicing, they will see their um, turnover and profits grow by at least 3x or 5x in the next two years. Just imagine if they start earning 2-3x more and the family's yeah. potential is huge. Yes, yes. So we are, we are uh, working on that and we would love to keep doing this and we are so grateful that this program of Sugam uh, is sponsored by UNICEF. Um, and we are hoping that they will continue. Otherwise, there of course we'll have to. But uh, it's a phenomenal program. Sure, we, are, sir, yeah. we are quite, very, very quite shocked, in fact, because it was a test thing, and uh, we are shocked that we have been able to make a huge impact. Yes, huge sir. impact. Yeah. Sir, the other day uh, we talked with one entrepreneur, and she was really saying how Unnati helped them and yeah. yeah she was boasting about it so. yeah, I, I heard that yeah. <laughs> I saw your uh, podcast yeah. of course yes uh, so, so how does Unnati collaborate with uh, local agencies or government agencies and other stakeholders yeah so we what we do is we have two major stakeholders if you take at that top level mm -hmm. one is a CSR funder yeah. the companies who give us money for the uh, to run the programs. Mm -hmm. The other side is the government. You know, government is the biggest NGO in this country, yeah. you know, yeah. if you say. So we have to work with the government. Yes, so sir. government allows us, for example, Sugam, we are now working closely with NRLM. Mm -hmm. And NRLM has some seven lakhs of women entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. so these are kind of people who can be trained, who can be equipped, who can be made better. And there are so many requirements, right? Yeah. So we are only probably touching, not you can't even say it's a drop in the ocean. It's not even a drop. Yeah. What we are doing is not even a drop. But whatever we contribute is going to add value. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> so every drop makes a uh, ocean. So <laughs> let me presume that we are one drop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um, sir. So what impact does Unnati's initiative of um, empowering women does have in um, in the broader sense, in the broader community? So it's so, um, so important you asked me this question. So let me go back to 2002 and tell us our dream, yes, right? Sir. So we used to see the maid servants work and all that. I used to ask them, what is your story? Yes, sir. This maid will tell you a story saying that when I was 16, 17, 18, you know, my father was a drunkard, no money at home. Mm -hmm. I had three, four brothers, sisters. Yeah. My mother used to struggle. Mm -hmm. She used to go and work, get money. And then all of us, we were meagerly living. Yeah. Sometimes no food at night, all sorts of things. Right? Now, our dream was, if and you ask her daughter what happened, she would have got married. Mm -hmm. Within four years, the person would have repeated, mm -hmm. history repeats. If this girl came to us at the age of 18, 35 days, she will start earning anywhere between 15 to 30,000. She will not be given in marriage because she is bringing 15,000 rupees home. Right? Then what happens? So what happens is she will be working for five years. By that time, her own salary becomes 30,000. Whom will she marry at the age of 23, 24? 
obviously somebody who's earning 40 50000 yeah. so what you have done is what this program has done is one it has moved this family of less than 10000 struggling to something like 80000 in a period of 4 5 years number one number two during this 4 5 years her brother sister get educated they get into jobs right that is why we say a generation goes above poverty line in 35 days yeah, yeah. third which is more important and she gets married and her children she will make sure mm. that her children get proper education, education. but that's what is a game changer yeah. okay. education is the game changer for any country no, undoubtedly sir true yeah. it's a very powerful thing yeah indeed sir <laughs> Uh, so, um, how does Unnati tailor its uh, training programs for uh, to meet uh, the women participants' needs? So, we we believe that uh, giving them confidence, giving them a power to express themselves, mm-hmm. giving them the power that they too can do it, you know, giving them the self esteem, giving them. to believe and understand self respect yeah. these are some of the very key elements uh, of women empowerment mm-hmm. and i think our program is beautifully designed yeah. uh, for that part of it so if this attitude and this uh, uh, you know these things are there in a woman mm-hmm. she will come up in life yeah. she will make it well big yeah that's that true So, so these were the questions that I had in my mind, sir. And uh, thank you for giving us your valuable time, sir. Thank you. Uh, your perspective really adds depth to our journey. And I would like to extend a big thank you to our viewers for joining with us and staying with us in this journey. So thank you so much, and we truly appreciate your uh, support and love. So stay tuned. Until next time, Unnati Unleashed.